but that 88 is pulling away. Earnhardt, Johnson, Menard, Blaney, third generation star, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Brings him to the flag, checkered flag, waving, it's over, it's Earnhardt. Earnhardt trying to cover all spots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good job, June Buck. Woo. Dale Earnhardt Jr., Woo. checkered flag at Talladega. Why is this one so much fun? Because your grin told so many stories on your cool down lap. It's just real emotional. I haven't won here in a long time. It's my daddy's birthday a couple days ago. It's just real emotional, man. Uh, my third world. You know, on occasion, I have pondered uh, watching NASCAR without Dale Earnhardt Jr. You know, knowing that at some point, uh, the the timeline of sort of my life and Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s life um, will will hit a point where my favorite driver uh, ever will decide he's going to retire, and I will continue watching NASCAR and rooting for somebody else. I've actually, as of late, even before what I'll be talking about on the podcast today, welcome uh, to the Dale uh, Earnhardt Jr. Race Preview Podcast for My Nerd World. I'm your host, John Justice. I'm glad you're checking out the podcast this week, even though we won't be previewing uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. I will be talking about expectations for the fill-in driver this week in Alex uh, Bowman and why I'm actually excited to watch the race on Sunday. And uh, I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. But... Uh, even before I found out this week, and I'll tell you how I found out in a moment that Dale Jr. would be sitting out this race, uh, I remember just in this season after uh, Jeff Gordon retired, and um, even to a certain extent when I go back to 2012 when Dale Jr., although I didn't think about it nearly as much then when Dale Jr. was out for those races after um, after dealing with the uh, the concussion after that Kentucky test, right, and then after the the, uh, the Talladega race. I remember thinking. I remember thinking about it f- briefly then, but again, retirement seems so far out of the realm. And when Jeff Gordon retired at such a relatively young age, that got me thinking. Wow, I wonder when Dale Jr. will. But even then, Dale Jr. has been very vocal in saying that he wanted to kind of work backwards in his career, that he probably would go back to racing in the Xfinity Series, maybe even the trucks, and then maybe even you know local. Uh, local short tracks. So it didn't really seem like it was going to happen, certainly not in the next, you know, two years or three years, but maybe like, you know, in the the next five years or so uh, that we would see Dale Jr. retire. Well, that certainly changed in light of what's happened. Um, I'll tell you how I found out and then give you some details and my thoughts on the matter. And then again, we'll, we'll preview a bit of what my expectations are for Alex Bowman this weekend. I'm going to skip over a lot of sort of the intricacies as it relates to the race preview portion of this and, uh, and merchandise and just kind of focus on where we stand with Dale Jr. But I got home Friday and, uh, had, no, actually, I'm sorry. It was, it was, that was, that was Thursday. I got home on Thursday. And it's been a really long week and finally had a moment to sit down and usually I'll go play a video game. I'll play NASCAR 15 or Star Wars Battlefront. And uh, I'm a big Star Wars fan, in case you didn't know. I do a whole other podcast um, for my nerd world, which is devoted to Star Wars. And this weekend, Star Wars Celebration, their yearly convention is taking place in Europe. And so was really excited about information coming out of there. So I kind of had that on my mind. And I sat down and I started to get some tweets and one of them stuck out to me, and it was uh, just a, a friend on Twitter who said, "Hey, what do you? Who do you think is going to sit in, in Dale Junior.'s car this weekend, or drive Dale Junior.'s car this weekend?" And I just, I stared at it for just a moment, n- not wanting to read what I was reading and not know what had happened. And I just went, "Oh no, you know, what, what is this about?" And immediately went online and found out that Dale Junior. went um, after experiencing. Concussion-like symptoms um, was evaluated in Charlotte and was not cleared by physicians to race. Uh, Alex Bowman is, again, the team substitute driver at New Hampshire. Dale Jr., as he tells the story, uh, I wasn't feeling great the week going into Kentucky and thought it was possibly severe allergies, which is really interesting because doing the podcast every week and listening to Dale Jr.'s comments on the Dirty Mo Radio Dale Jr. download, I just had noticed, and as a matter of fact, this week's download, he sounded 
really tired. Now, whether one had anything to do with the other, I don't know. But even, you know, the the hosts on the podcast, you know, Mike Davis, first name Davis, they they both commented, you know, and, and Taylor, they all commented just on how quiet Dale Jr. was during that during that recording. And I think part of it was there were people around he was being quiet, but he did not sound himself. So uh, Dale Jr. went on to say, I saw a family doctor. I was given medication for allergies and a sinus infection. Uh, when that didn't help, I decided to dig a little deeper. Because of my symptoms, my history with concussions, after my recent wrecks at Michigan and Daytona, I reached out and met with a neurological specialist. And after further evaluation, they felt it was best for me to sit out. I'm disappointed about missing New Hampshire this weekend. I'm looking forward to treatment, the goal getting back into the race car when the doctors say I'm ready. The timetable for Junior's return has not been set. Hendrick will provide an update uh, Wednesday uh, for plans for Indianapolis. Hendrick, Rick Hendrick came out and said, I'm proud of Dale for standing up. Uh, the number one priority is his health. So we're going to give him all the time he needs. We're completely uh, in support of the decision by the doctors, and we'll be ready to go win races when he's 100%. In the meantime, we have full confidence in Greg Ives and the team, and we know they'll do a great job. Since then, we found out that if Dale Jr. is not cleared to race at Indy, then Jeff Gordon is going to go and pilot the, the number 88 car and come out of retirement. So let's talk first keeping in mind that Dale Jr.'s health is the most important thing um, uh, when it comes to whenever Dale Jr. returns to the track. I just want to establish that up front. I am a fan of the person Dale Earnhardt Jr. before anything else. I'm a fan of his because he's a race car driver, and I love watching NASCAR, and I love watching him compete. But I'm a fan, and I believe that you're a fan because we respect and like the person Dale Earnhardt Jr. And I want what's best, obviously, for him and uh, for his future wife, Amy, and his family. And if Dale Earnhardt Jr., for some reason, decided he was not going to get back into the race car, I absolutely respect that. And I would continue to be a fan of whatever he did. So keeping in mind that his health is the number one priority here, let's talk a little bit about when he returns to the track and what my expectations are as it relates to that. I don't think Dale Jr. is going to run to Indianapolis. It sounds like he didn't have a full concussion, at least the way that this has been worded. It sounds like he had symptoms, his history with, with concussions, and that because you're more susceptible to a concussion, it's better to err on the side of caution. It seems to me that's what we're dealing with. The wreck in Michigan, if either of the wrecks were going to have given him another concussion, the wreck in Michigan probably would have been the one. I don't remember, or I don't, I mean, as I run back what happened in Daytona, I mean, he kept driving, and it was more of a side bounce. He hit the wall pretty hard at Michigan. It, it appears to me, and I don't have any other knowledge of this, uh, of this. This is just my speculation. It appears to me that he didn't he didn't experience a full fledged concussion, but symptoms as it relates to to a concussion. So they're erring on the side of caution. That being said, the fact that Jeff Gordon has said that he will step into the vehicle at Indianapolis makes me wonder if Dale Jr. erring on the side of caution depending on what his mindset is, would decide to sit out at Indy, even if he was cleared by the doctors, just to give himself another week. If this was something that was more of a full-fledged concussion, then, well, let me, actually, let me go the other way. If this was just a precaution, and it wasn't as bad as, as perhaps we're led to believe, and it was more, we're not sure if he suffered another one, we're just being careful, then I would say, okay, Dale Jr., regardless of of Jeff Gordon, we'll get back, we'll get back in the car next week at Indy. Uh, but at the same time, if Dale Jr. is under the impression that, that, that it's kind of 50-50 or close, and the doctors even clear him, but they're going, you know, you're still going to be at risk, I could see where he would decide, you know what, since Jeff's going to get in the car, that's going to be, and I think this factors into it, that's going to be a huge story. And if if maybe, and I'm just putting out a lot of different speculations here. This isn't me saying or digging on Dale Earnhardt Jr. at all. I haven't talked to the man. I don't know what his mindset is. I can speak from experience 
as it relates to things like this, and I'll explain in a moment. But, you know, if he's not feeling the total confidence right now and is perhaps thinking that this season it's just going to be about doing his best and isn't even thinking about the chase anymore, then I think he'll let Jeff Gordon get in the car and race next weekend. Now, if again, if he's thinking this is just precaution, I needed an extra week to 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 make sure that I'm fine, and he still has every intention of going out and getting after it, then I think he'll get back in the car. That's not to say that Dale Jr. will get back in the car and not go after it. That is to say that there is a way to go back racing and have different sets of priorities. And if the priority is to go back racing and just do the best job they possibly can and whatever, whichever way the, whole, the, 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 the points fall and the chase falls, that's fine because he knows that he's had this circumstance take, take place, that's understandable. And not get down on themselves if they end up not making the chase. But if he gets back, but he can also get back in the car and be like, "No, man, I'm good. Let's go." I am very concerned, however, because Dale Jr. does have a future in front of him. He 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 is going to get married to Amy. He does want to start a family. You know, he is in his 40s now. You know, being um, 44 myself. I can understand where Dale Earnhardt Jr. is taking stock of his life. And if there's a larger concern of these concussions continuing, I don't think he gets out of the race car completely. But I think there is a possibility, and I wouldn't be shocked if he ended up stepping away for the season and just decided to let himself rest. I, I I don't know. I'm just laying all the different scenarios out there. And maybe there's a part of it where for me as a fan, I'm preparing for the worst. I don't think he's going to step away from racing altogether unless for some reason there's some something as it relates to this event that we haven't been told yet where the doctors for and again just for the sake of argument the doctors you know evaluate the wreck that caused another concussion and said that wreck wasn't very bad and you got a concussion you're going to be you know in in uh, in a risky situation for the rest of your career uh if you continue racing but again, we don't know any. We don't know any of that. So that's my expectation. Um, at this point, if I were a betting man, <laughs> which I'm not, but if I were, well, I have been in the past. I like going to Vegas as much as the next person. But if somebody told me we well, got to put money down, does Dale Jr. race at Indy or not? I would say he doesn't. And I can't help but wonder if they already know that, and we're just kind of being eased into it. And Jeff Gordon stepping into the car. Um, is indicative of that because that seems a little it seemed a little odd to me that they made that decision so quickly that Alex Bowman wouldn't be in the car next weekend but I think that's because the Xfinity guys aren't it might be because of the track itself and putting Alex Bowman in a in 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 a car and at Indy wouldn't be the best idea but he has 71 starts under his belt so I, I haven't looked at the schedule enough actually I can do it right now let me see I was thinking it's because the uh, the Xfinity series is not running Indianapolis next week. No, they are, so they'll be there too. Yeah, see, that's what makes me think. Just looking at that, that's what makes me think that the Dale Jr. already knows they're going to be sitting out in Indy because of the fact that Jeff Gordon says he's going to step in. And again, I'm 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 purely that's all speculation on on my part um, right now. I'm just as a fan, I'm getting prepared for for the worst and looking at the rest of the season and going well I think the season as it relates to any shot that Dale Earnhardt Jr. had at the championship I'm preparing for that to be over as a fan I will continue to watch him every single race and root for him I hope that I'm I absolutely hope I'm wrong I hope he comes back at Indy I hope he got the rest that he needs and he has the confidence he needs moving forward but I it's tough, man. I mean, we all know what happened and how long it took Dale Jr. to recover after he experienced the uh, the incident on the road course with that fire that burned him so badly. And there's an argument to be made that that affected him on road courses for a long time that he only now recovered to the point where he's able to race um, really good on road courses uh, again. Um, it has an effect on people. And if he's going to be getting into the race car with – the with with the thought in the back of his mind that a a wreck even one that for all intents and purposes wasn't bad like Michigan could give him another concussion that's going to have an effect on an individual 
Now, if that happens, I will continue to follow and support him as a race car.